So, oh, you'll probably just don't know if you'll still be alive in 2040. Crystal, Chairman, you don't know if you'll still be alive in 20, 2040. All right. Well, that's a good thing. Now, I don't want to get on here and doomsay. It turns people off. But, but I will say this. If you're ready right now, there's no reason to come back. The apocalypse record of the seven seals is very, very specific. There is a certain number of, se uh, of souls. When it's done, the 144,000 end-time prophets will, will make themselves known. When they make themselves known, the whole world's going to know it. Because the elite can do nothing about them. They're going to they're be walking around like they're immortal. Assassination attempts are not going to work. Their message is going to be heard. The media is not going to want to report what they have to say and what they're doing, but they're not going to be given a choice. Whoever these 144,000 personalities are, they are necessary because they mark the end when the human, when the amount of human souls of the of the of the, of the saved, the redeemed, and the elect are sealed. That's what the seven seals is about. The fifth seal decodes all seven seals. The sixth seal is the phoenix. By the time the phoenix is activated, the, the sixth seal, it's already understood that there's no more reincarnation for the redeemed. That's over with. There's no more going back and, and getting a new avatar. So Shanta and those of you who are concerned, concerned about that, if you were to die today and you weren't quite ready, that's okay because you would be a 19-year-old male or a 19-year-old girl when the phoenix comes. The sixth seal is the final event for the redeemed because when the seventh seal is broken, that's when the overseers of humanity who are higher than the elite, who own the elite, and who are not scared of the elite, will make their decisions about the coming apocalypse. The, six, the seven seals are not the apocalypse. That's common misconception. That is Judeo-Christian bullshit. The seals are only preparatory to the real tribulation, the real apocalypse. But there are not going to be any holy people on this world when that occurs. Remember, two different places in Scripture says in the last days God's going to call strong delusion and He's also going to kill the righteous to keep them from the evil to come. Phoenix has always been a deliverer. It has delivered human civilizations from these elite overseers who would rather burn the world than lose their control. This is what's happening. Now, it took a long time for me to put this all together. So I'm not worried about the Phoenix. If I was to die today, I'd be 19 years old when the Phoenix happened, or 18 years old, however it happened. I'm gonna be with my mama for about nine months, I'm pretty sure. But who knows, man, I might be 400 pound female. I don't know. I don't know what things my soul has to do. I know this. I got things to work out. There's things. There's things wrong with Jason Brashears. There's no doubt. But uh, I accept these wholeheartedly. Now, I don't think we need to worry about apocalypse and all that. There's a lot about to unfold in the next 19 years. It has to because the 19th year is the sixth seal. So five whole seal judgment events must occur. And I've already released a video. So if you have, if you guys haven't caught up and watched that other video, I just released a video about the apocalypse and the. And the only thing I covered in that video was the seven seals. I didn't even want to go into detail about what's going to happen when the vapor canopy gets here and afterward. Because the vapor canopy is the reason why no Christian eschatologists, there are no Jewish eschatologists that have ever come even close to the mark as to what the book of Revelation is describing in the seven trumpets, in the seven thunders, in the, in the seven bowls of wrath. These, these 21 different isolated events in the book of Revelation are harrowing. But they can't happen unless the vapor canopy is here. Because the vapor canopy world is the key to understanding how humans can live through this shit and not die. So I'm not going to go through that. And remember, the 144,000 will die too. They will die when the phoenix appears or before, or however long. They might have a ministry of three and a half years. There's different theories, I don't know. I haven't read the book of Revelation in a long time. I just took all my notes and I have, I reread my, re -read my notes a lot. So, I'm, uh, the 144,000 are the, are the final ones because they're necessary for the ministry of the chief cornerstone who will come in the end at Armageddon and defeat, the, defeat 
basically the rulers of this world, the god of this world, the Demiurge. You call him Satan, call him Lucifer, call him the devil, call him whatever you want. But the 144,000 are symbolized in the Great Pyramid's architecture for every pyramidologist knows that the original Great Pyramid before the Muslims took them down in 1301 to 1356 AD was surfaced in 100 inch thick, highly polished white mirror smooth casing stones. There were 144,000 of these stones exactly. So, the history of the human race is building a pyramid. Every stone is the soul of man. And when that pyramid is finished, the final 144,000 will have their ministry against the darkness. They will save many at the end. But when the 144,000 are dead, the pyramid, the monument of man, is finished. It's done. The only thing left to do is for the chief cornerstone, the stone the builders rejected, the stone uncut by human hands, the chief cornerstone will descend from the sky and, and descend upon the monument of man, and then the redeemed will become immortal, and humans will become something else. Now, now that's the redeemed, because there's going to be hordes that are still here, but they're going to be a part of a different kingdom, and they're not going to, and they're not going to have a choice. So pretty scary shit. There's really nothing positive I can say about the future after 19 years from now. Until all this is over. And then it's going to be great. So, especially if I was to tell you about who you are and where you're going and what you're doing. Because I can. I have a really good idea. I have a really good grasp about what this was all about from the beginning. And it's very interesting.